Hey, welcome back to Bear Squared. In this video, we're going to be problem solving simultaneous equations using the elimination method. Coming up. So in our previous video, we learned how to solve simultaneous equations using the substitution method. But it's not always convenient, and hence in this video, we're going to be learning how to eliminate. So let's start off with the problem. In my pocket, I have only 5 cent and 10 cent coins. How many of each type of coin do I have if I have 24 coins altogether and the total value is $1.55? So we'll let X be the number of 5 cent coins and Y be the number of 10 cent coins. So we can set up an equation and say X plus Y is equal to 24 and that's equation 1. That represents the total number of coins in my pocket. Now I don't know how many 5 cent or 10 cent coins I have, but I do know that in total I have 24 coins. For our second equation, we can say 5x plus 10y is equal to 155. Now that's the total value of the coins. So in order to explain this equation, remember that we said let x be the number of 5 cent coins. So we know we've got 5 cent coins, we don't know how many of them, we've got x amount of 5 cent coins. And we said that let y be the number of 10 cent coins. So y represents the number of 10 cent coins, we just don't know how many of them. We do know that the total value is $1.55. Remember, when we're solving equations, the left-hand side and the right-hand side have to be in the same units. So in this case, we've converted everything to cents. Okay, so what we can do is we can multiply equation 1 by 5, which will give us 5x plus 5y is equal to 120. We can label that equation 3. Now, if you notice, if I write equation 2, 5x and 5x can be eliminated because we have the same coefficient in front of the x. So I'm going to subtract equation 3 from equation 2. So 5x minus 5x gives us 0x. 5y minus 10y gives us negative 5y. 120 minus 155 gives us negative 35. And then if we divide both sides by negative 5, we will get y is equal to 7. Now our next step is to substitute y is equal to 7 into equation 1. This is going to help us to find the value of x. So we have x plus 7 is equal to 24. If I subtract 7 on both sides, I get x is equal to 17. Now we're not finished because we need to check to see if both of these solutions work in both equations simultaneously. So let's check that x equals 17 and y equals 7 works for equation 1. If I substitute the values, I would get 17 plus 7 is equal to 24. Since 17 plus 7 is equal to 24, I know that both sides are balanced. Now if I substitute the values into equation 2, I get 5 times 17 plus 10 times 7 is equal to 155. That's 85 plus 70 is equal to 155. Since 85 plus 70 is equal to 155, I know that the second equation is balanced. And therefore, I can say I have 17 5 cent coins and 7 10 cent coins in my pocket. Okay, stay tuned because the next example is going to show that we need to manipulate both of the equations in order to eliminate and solve a set of simultaneous equations. So in the following question, it says solve the simultaneous equations and we have 5x plus 3y is equal to 9, that's equation 1. And then we have 7x minus 2y is equal to 25, that's equation 2. So what you'll notice is you cannot multiply just one equation to get the same coefficient for x and y. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply equation 1 by 2 and equation 2 by 3. So we get 10x plus 6y is equal to 18. We can label that equation 3. And 21x minus 6y is equal to 75. And we can label that equation 4. Okay, so now if you look closely, you should be able to eliminate one of the variables. It's not the x because the coefficients are 10 and 21. It's the y because both the coefficients are 6. 
Well, actually, you got plus 6 and negative 6. So think about this. If we had to subtract the two equations, we would get 6 minus negative 6, which will give us 12. So what we're going to do is we're going to add equation 3 and equation 4 to eliminate the y. So 10x plus 21x gives us 31x. 6y plus a negative 6y cancels out, that's 0. 18 plus 75 gives us 93. Finally, if I divide both sides by 31, I get x is equal to 3. So now we can substitute x is equal to 3 into equation 1. That's going to give us 5 times 3 plus 3y is equal to 9. 15 plus 3y is equal to 9. If I subtract 15 from both sides, I get 3y is equal to minus 6. And now if I divide by 3, I get y is equal to negative 2. Now I'm not finished until I check that the solutions work for both the equations. So let's quickly check that x equals 3 and y equals minus 2. So for equation 1, 5 times 3 plus 3 times negative 2 is equal to 9. Since 15 minus 6 is equal to 9, I know that both of the sides are balanced. So that checks out fine. For equation 2 then, 7 times 3 minus 2 times negative 2 is equal to 25. Since 21 plus 4 does equal to 25, I know that that's balanced. So therefore, I can say x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 2 for these two simultaneous equations. As always, thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, drop me a like. And if you have any questions, put them in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe for more math videos. And I'll see you in the next one.